complete agreement. Thank you. If, if you don't mind, I can add on this question. Sure. Um, we have a community of Swedish companies in India, and uh, quite often we have uh, equality as a discussion point because of this is um, a very sound subject for, uh, for European companies and for European uh, culture. And here we try to behave the same way. And when you ask this question to Kalki, I was thinking, how would I answer this question? And I would add that uh, I think respect is actually a good word. We need to respect women as an equal part of the society. We are not the same men and women. I mean, God, God's created us different. But we have the same rights, and we have the same opportunities. And this is what we try to embrace, that uh, everyone have an equal opportunity to participate in the social life, in the business life, et cetera, et cetera. But the choice, of course, always back to people. But the society should treat equally and respect equally men and women. This would be a, a kind of our standpoint for the women empowerment. Thank you, sir. Uh, hi. Congrats uh, on completing 50 years. This is Roshni from Best Media Info. Uh, my question is uh, uh, for either Ms. Dukul or Mr. Anand, whoever. Um, it will, you know, with hashtag beautiful change, the new campaign that you guys are launching, will there be a mass media campaign which will follow on? And sure. how well and uh, how far have you been using digital to really promote? Because Oriflame is not a really uh, retail uh, strong brand. It's, it's more direct sales. So how big part does digital play in your marketing? Uh, I think thank you for asking us this question. Uh, digital comes across as a big, big opportunity for us. And through this campaign, I think we are very proud to first to introduce it to you. In fact, uh, you're the one sitting out here. In fact, globally, India is the first market to introduce this campaign, and we really feel proud to do that. The bigger leg of this campaign would definitely run on digital. We are going to, this is not just a campaign for a month or so. It's what the brand believes in and what the brand wants to promote. It's all about basically collecting people and their stories from all across the globe to create this change, to create this momentum. And there is nothing better than digital that will play on this. And uh, should we expect a mass media campaign or uh, that's not our? Uh, well, we are working more on digital to this because we are digitally connected definitely across the globe. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Hi, uh, my name is Rini, and I, I first of all want to congratulate you for so many years of uh, women empowerment. A little um, you know, example of that is 15 years ago, I think about more than 15 years ago, my mom had uh, started selling these uh, from her house, and she was just a homemaker then, we were in school, and that gave her a lot of confidence to actually start her own business in textiles later. So thank you so much for giving opportunities to women in smaller towns of India to do something which no one had thought of at that uh, in, uh, decade. And now my question to Kalki uh, is, uh, Kalki, you're like this, uh, you know, this vision of a strong woman who always does what she feels is right. And uh, nowadays, a lot of young girls and women have these unreal expectations or benchmarks of beauty. And they want to look the certain way or be a certain way to, to kind of get this false gratification from people, other people and not from within. Uh, what would be your message to those young girls who look up to you? Um, I think that, you know, beauty is, is such a vast thing. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we tend to look at beauty from a very, very commercial angle. And I would just say that uh, uniqueness is another kind of beauty. And uh, what you stand out in is what makes you beautiful. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I, you know, I have always been told I'm the unconventional actor and this and that, and uh, I've embraced that unconventionalness because it is who I am, and and that's actually why I am sitting here today and uh, and choosing a brand like Oriflame, and they're choosing me, uh, you know. So there is a place for uh, for beauty, which is not necessarily uh, the just the exterior idea of beauty, and and it's up to you to to hone that personality, you know? Thank you, thank you so much. So any more questions here? Um, so we've got loads of questions coming in here. All right, on my left, 
right here who is uh, seated and the gentleman who had already asked a question, he wants to ask more questions. Hi, uh, congratulations, I'm Gurbir from Salon International. My question is to the gentleman on, yeah, hi. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you're a direct retail sales company, how many partners do you have currently and what is the expansion plan there? And are you looking at the B2B angle differently, putting up at shops or going, what, a, what is your expansion plan basically? Uh, yes, uh, yes, this is question to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, we cannot, uh, we are actually a public company and our shares are traded in the uh, Stockholm Stock Exchange and therefore we have limitation to what extent we can reveal numbers for each particular market. But uh, uh, what I can say that India is one of our fifth, five strategic focus markets where we as a company have a special attention and uh, have a, a very high expectation. We actually have uh, more than 20 uh, places where we present ourselves but this place is not um, B2B, it's actually, it's more, cost, it's more service centers for our partners. And we have uh, two factories already in India and we are very, very positive into our outlook for the future of Oriflame in India. Uh, going to your question to the beginning, are we going to do retailing or B2B? The answer would be no, because so we in Oriflame we are actual direct selling company. We are selling through personal recommendation. And going back to the couple of questions which sounded today, we are a very social company because of, uh, for us, connection and trust uh, from uh, people to people is actually a foundation of our industry. I mean, people buying our products through friends, through recommendations, through referrals. And therefore, uh, we give them an opportunity to uh, build their own networks is actually kind of franchisee model for individual people. Therefore, we have no plans to go retail because of people who are our partners. They build their business and build their future, uh, which they can pass this business to their children as well, on the principle of a personal recommendation, personal referral, and therefore this is the foundation of our business. Hi. Hi. Uh, question. Hi. I have a question. Hi. Kalki. Kalki, this side. This side. Uh, my question is uh, from Kalki. Do you remember that you have seen in childhood that you have seen some of the things that you have been doing for beauty? And now you are going to film in films. Can you tell me about the tips and when are you going to film in films? My mom gave me a very good secret, which is coconut oil, pure organic cold pressed coconut oil, which I also use now. I put it in the food, in the hair, in the face, in the face. So I live by coconut oil. And the other? New projects. Okay, film. I have two films releasing very soon. End of October, I have a film called Gia or Gia, which I and Richard Chadda have done. It's a girl's road trip through Sweden. Actually. Yeah, exactly. It was a very uh, good connection. So, <laughs> fantastic. Wow. Um, <laughs> we should have gotten in touch with Air Oriflame when we needed money to make the film. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, and uh, the second film is an independent film by a new director called Raki Sandilya, and it's called Ribbon. And uh -huh. that's releasing in November. Just uh, one. Ms. Dukal, uh, as uh, Kalki spoke about coconut, and we saw in the slide like uh, we, uh, we were talking about Kerala actually, and where you get the natural resources. So do you have plans where in India there are lots of places where you have the natural resources and you try to get associated with that particular state and trying you know, to bring an empowerment there actually? Definitely, I think our uh, R&D team is continuously working on these for years, and this was just one place that they've identified in India through Fair Trade, and it's called Fair Trade Alliance Kerala. But needless to say, I think uh, for us as a brand, what is more important? One is using the best of the ingredients in our products, and secondly, sourcing it from credible sources is what makes us important. So there is no limit to it that whether we source it from other places in India. Definitely, I mean, if that, that is an opportunity that comes in, uh, it will happen.
In the same time, we have a pretty uh, strong control and restrictions of what we are doing. Uh, our uh, people who are doing product development, they really control the product uh, ingredient chain from the beginning to the end. For example, uh, we, don't, uh, we will not deal with the companies who would use uh, child labor, for example, who would do uh, you know, unethical behavior towards nature. So it's not only one example. This is the totality of our approach to their product sourcing and raw material sourcing. Thank you. Now, uh, I think Kalki? we'll have to. We're just running okay. a bit short of uh, time. Uh, so hi, Kalki. Uh, I have a question for you, actually, back here on your... Yeah, hi. Okay. This is a little different. This is a little offbeat, of course. You know, we are talking about beautiful change, but unfortunately, a little boy in a Gurgram, you know, lost his life in school. You know, that, uh, you know, raises the question of children being secure in schools. What are your thoughts on it? I'm afraid I'm not here to discuss other news. Uh, Thank you. You know, we can have an interview later about those things. Anything with uh, the brand, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, I think, I think we are running a bit short of time. So thank you, Kalki. Thank you to our dignitaries. And uh, it was a wonderful day here. Can we have a big hand once again for this very momentous uh, day here? Thank you once again. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today this afternoon. And uh, have a wonderful day ahead. Please do go ahead and enjoy.